At the beginning of the movie, we are introduced to an elderly character who enters a hotel room and is visibly nervous. Nancy Stokes takes off her coat and frequently glances at her watch. At the same time, a young guy named Leo Grande is relaxing in a coffee shop, occasionally checking notifications on his phone. Soon he gets dressed and goes outside. Nancy tries to calm down and get some drinks from the minibar. The heroine is primping in front of the mirror when she hears a knock on the door. Through the door peephole, she spots Leo. The guy notices that Nancy is very nervous when he kisses her on the cheek and promises that they will have a great time. To relax even more, Leo suggests they have something hot to drink. The guy moves to the couch and tries to find out what exactly Nancy would like. However, the heroine almost immediately turns the dialogue to music. Nancy admits that she is embarrassed because the guy is even more handsome in real life than in the photo. Leo tells her that he loves his job, mutual pleasure, lots of acquaintances and adventures. Nancy worries that the guy feels some kind of humiliation, but he denies it. The heroine tells that her desire for today is a standard game. Nancy is very nervous and hopes that she did not disappoint the guy. In response, Leo silently kisses her and offers her some more drinks. Nancy tells him that she really dislikes waiting and surprises in general. Leo realizes that this is due to a fear of disappointment. Nancy agrees and tells him that she has never had a peak of pleasure with either her partners or herself. Leo thinks he can help her deal with this, but the heroine asks the hero not to try in vain. In addition, Nancy admits that her husband passed away two years ago. In addition, the heroine says that her spouse was her first and only partner in her whole life. After telling a lot about herself, Nancy switches to the guy. The heroine, who worked as a teacher, is sure that there is something wrong with Leo, and maybe he belonged to a vulnerable social group, otherwise why would he choose such a job? The guy laughs and offers to switch back to Nancy as there is nothing wrong with him. Leo becomes more proactive and suggests the heroine switch to the bed. Nancy thinks the guy needs to take certain male pills, but he says he doesn't. Leo tells her that his oldest client was 82 years old, and even in her he found certain traits he admired. Nancy embarrassedly asks what the guy likes about her. Leo says with a smile that her lips are beautiful. He also really likes her neck. Suddenly Nancy bursts out and asks him to give her a couple minutes to change. Leo with a smile asks her not to overdo it. While the heroine puts on the outfit, he takes off his pants and unbuttons his shirt. Leo assumes a seductive pose on the bed, but the weight drags on. The guy decides to eat a candy bar and have a little drink when Nancy comes out of the bathroom. Leo approaches her and tries to kiss her, however, the heroine does not like the smell of chocolate. The guy with a smile offers to brush his teeth to make everyone comfortable. While Leo is gone, the heroine notices a tag on her robe and tries to remove it. The guy returns and helps Nancy with this problem. Unexpectedly, the heroine decides to refuse his services. Leo asks her not to give up the chance to have the pleasure she has long desired. The guy admits that he does not want to leave, even after getting the money, because he is interested in Nancy. Leo suggests that the heroine lie under the blanket and talk some more. Nancy asks the guy about his education and his mother. Getting very nervous, Leo tries to change the subject and then tells her that his mother doesn't know about his job and thinks he works on an oil rig. Nancy, in turn, also talks about her family. The heroine considers her son a bit boring, and with her daughter she has strained relations. The girl thinks that Nancy is too cold. The heroine herself thinks that she is not like that, but perhaps more strict towards her daughter. Gradually, Nancy begins to talk about her work, and the situation becomes even more depressing. Leo suggests getting to the point and clarifies how her husband played night games with her. The guy is amazed that Nancy and her husband only played standard games. Leo understands why the heroine is so wary of night games. Nancy tells how as a teenager she flew with her parents to Greece. There she had a brief affair with a hotel employee. Everything was wonderful, Nancy felt his hands on her, but then someone started the car and everything was interrupted, and the next day she and her family left. After that, Leo gets to work. At the next meeting, Nancy feels more liberated and moreover, prepares a list of games she would like to try. Leo listens to the five types of games and says they are doable. The guy is surprised when Nancy says that she would like to try all of them in one meeting. 
The heroine explains that his services are quite expensive, so it would be easier for her to try everything at once. Leo hints with a smile that he would like to give the heroine the ultimate pleasure. However, Nancy feels this should not be included as they are interested in attainable goals. The first goal for the day is a game for Leo. The guy asks Nancy to relax and get rid of inner judgment. However, the heroine believes that they need to fulfill clearly defined tasks. Their conversation is interrupted by a phone call from Nancy's daughter. Leo tries to relax the heroine with a dance and learns that in her marriage, everything was subject to planning. The guy realizes that, despite her plans, Nancy is very uptight. Therefore, Leo suggests turning on some music and dancing. However, the relaxation is again interrupted by a call from Nancy's daughter. Leo asks if the children realize that the heroine is disappointed in them. The guy offers to give Nancy a massage, and the lady asks him to take off his shirt. When the heroine asks if the mom is disappointed in him, Leo flinches and guffaws. Nancy strokes the guy and suddenly scurries away. Nancy admits that she has never touched anyone like him and is amazed at his physical shape. Leo says with a smile that he works out a lot. The guy brings Nancy to the mirror and asks the lady to look at her own beauty. Suddenly, the heroine becomes serious again and asks if Leo gave her a real name. The guy admits that he made it up, just as Nancy made up hers. Leo tells the lady that his younger brother is in the military, because of which they rarely see each other. The guy offers to play a role-playing game. However, Nancy is rather upset by this. She says that she wants to feel 16 and regrets that she wasted her youth. In addition, the heroine admits that she often scolded her students for short skirts, believing that they could bring trouble on themselves. Nancy asks if Leo has had any problems because of his work. The guy says he's good at a lot of things besides making love, and a lot of people pay him just to talk. Leo recommends that the heroine buy more sessions from him to loosen up, or even become a regular client. Nancy reacts aggressively, believing that he is just trying to squeeze more money out of her. The heroine insists on fulfilling the first point and suddenly begins to cry. Leo calms her down and tells her that everyone has different needs. One of his clients likes to just hold hands and watch TV, but the other likes a quick and quiet night game. Leo and the heroine reflect on the fact that his services are needed by almost everyone. People need to enjoy themselves and not be judged for it. Guy tells her that he likes to look at people's faces when they are happy. Leo is fueled by such conversations, and the heroine gets down to his game. The third meeting comes. The heroine persistently tries to talk to Leo about what he is like outside of this room, but the guy goes off topic and suggests enjoying the here and now. Then Nancy confesses that she knows his real name is Connor. Leo gets angry and is about to leave since the heroine has violated his boundaries. Nancy tries to make up with the guy and find out why they can't really know each other. The heroine even offers to talk to Leo's mom about his work and assures him that no one will be ashamed of it. Then flaring up the guy admits that his mother tells everyone that he's not alive. A shocked Nancy watches him leave, grabbing his things. Leo comes back for his phone and is very angry. The guy admits that his mother gave up on him when he was 15, but he always felt her disgust for him. The fourth meeting takes place in a coffee shop. There Nancy unexpectedly runs into her former student named Becky. The heroine thanks Leo for coming and tells him that she has recommended his services to some of her friends. Nancy confesses that her real name is Susan Robinson and her whole life has been rather dull and ordinary. The heroine believes that Leo is her only adventure, freedom, and liberation. Nancy apologizes for her antics. The heroine explains that her consciousness seems to be clouded by the heat of the pleasure she has found. Nancy thanks the guy for his help and is about to say goodbye to him forever. However, this is interrupted by the appearance of Becky, who tells that at school the heroine often scolded her for short skirts. When the girl leaves, Leo admits that he told his brother about his real job and he reacted calmly. The guy says that when he was 15 years old, his mother caught him and his friends playing rather indecent games. Leo tried to make up with her for a month, but he saw that the woman was uncomfortable with her son and resentful and therefore decided to leave. A couple years ago, the guy even saw his mom on the street, but she just walked past him. Nancy says that the woman was wrong, as there is nothing about Leo that could have alienated them so much. When Becky approaches, 
The heroine apologizes to her and tells her about Leo's work and connection to him. Nancy says that pleasure is wonderful and everyone should have it. The heroine invites the guy to her room and he gladly agrees. At the last meeting, Nancy tries a lot of games from her list and enjoys them. Watching Leo, the heroine plays with herself and finally gets something she never even dreamed of. Later, Nancy thanks the guy and says that this is their last meeting. Left alone, she again looks at herself in the mirror and for the first time does not see flaws in herself, does not feel fear, and does not pinch herself with complexes. Being yourself and accepting yourself as you are, that's the main happiness. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.